guys, welcome back. So it's been a long day, and it's only 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> Anyways, long story short, this video is going to be Kamani getting dewormed for the first time, hopefully. And then I have to wait five days, and if she's still coughing, put her back on medication for her cough or her respiratory issue. We're going to get into deworming Kamani, hopefully. And I'm going to put her about, I'm going to say... Almost 800 pounds, just in case she spits them out. And then uh, there might be a video with Boog later, just because Boog has been very, very poor with his ground manners the last few days with me. I've given him a lot of time off because of the cut on his gut and him being sick and Kamani being here and my focus being her for a couple weeks. And uh, he's starting to kind of show a little more attitude. Uh, he had a burr on his face this morning and I walked up to him talking to him, had my hand out ready to pet him just to wipe off that burr and he just raised his head and took off so there's probably going to be a groundwork video on Mr. Big today to see if he's just testing or if he's actually forgotten what we've been taught. I'm going to bring you guys outside we're going to catch Miss Kamani and we're going to do a few steps before we go straight to the dewormer. Okay, so first thing first is I'm going to walk up and I'm just going to throw the rope over her. She has a tendency to not let me on the left side if I try to go straight for it. So I just throw the rope over her as slowly or as quickly as I want to that day. And then just use it to kind of pull her the way I need her. And then get on the left side to get the halter on. So I want to talk about, I'm not just, okay, the people who walk up to their horse for the first time and just put the halter on. And hold that horse's head down and jam the deworming tube into their mouth. Those are the people that have horses with head shy issues. Those are the people that cause issues for a horse to have a bit in their mouth because they don't want their mouth touched. And those are also the people that cause issues for themselves to deworm their horse. So I'm going to show you some steps so you don't mess up with your horse. If maybe you've never done it, maybe your horse has never done it. Kamani's never done it. So, I'm going to show you how good she did for her first time ever being dewormed. And that's her rattling the background because I gave her some grain to get some of that taste out of her mouth. So there I just kind of wrapped the rope around her back legs, asked her to turn, and she freaked out a little bit, and then she figured it out. So she's got to start paying attention. I don't want to just put the halter on her and just have her standing there. I want her to be alert, not necessarily afraid or anything, but I want her alert enough to pay attention. So that's why I did that. So she's fighting just a little bit. Come on, e, your bowl's empty. So when she fights me, I just kind of apply more pressure. You can see the dewormer in my pocket. I brought her up as closely as I could get her for you guys, but I wanted it back far enough in case she got away, you guys could see the whole thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is just practice rubbing her mouth with my hand. When she doesn't move away or doesn't overreact, I'm just going to take my hand away and pet her. And I'll go back and do it again on the other side, on the middle. I'm going to touch everywhere, not just one spot. Because if you just focus on one spot, then they know something's up when you just touch that one spot. So there I practice putting my finger in her mouth a little bit. She doesn't overreact. She moves away a little. That's fine. Just go back and love on her. Sticking my finger in. She's going to raise her head a little bit. She's going to tilt it a little bit just because she's not used to it. She did have a couple horse flies on her that were bugging her that I kept wiping off. That's what she's doing right here. She's got a horse fly on. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the cap since she's showing me that she's good. And I'm not going to just jam the tube in her mouth. I'm not going to just poke it in there. The first thing I'm going to do is get her used to that tube being against and beside her face. Rubbing her with it. <laughs> right there, she's trying to get the horse fly off. Just, I'm going to rub that tube against the side of her mouth. Right there, she's just trying to smell it. She's not being naughty, trying to get away from it or anything. She's trying to smell and see what it is. I don't really want her to smell because once they smell that medicine, I feel like they get a little bit more worried about it. 
So I'm going to go on this side and do the same thing. She's backing up a little bit, so I'm going to stick with her. Now right there, somebody might say she's being mean. She actually had a horsefly on her nose, and right there, I just found out there's some blood on her nose from that horsefly. So, the horsefly bit her and drew blood. She wasn't doing it to be mean. She wasn't doing it to be naughty. She was saying, hey, can you get this thing off my face? So, I just go back and rub a couple times, and I ask her to come forward now. She's starting to come better. She does have her moments where she's bracy, but she gets really, really good. I had horse flies on me and bees, and she had horse fly and bees on her. So the next thing I'm going to work on, um, obviously not today, is fly spray. So I'm actually rubbing on her neck, too, just because she may ever get an ejection. So notice when I stick the tube in there, I don't put the medication in. I'm just sticking the tube in. <laughs> it cracks me up every time. I don't know why. I'm just sticking the tube in her mouth. Just getting her used to something going in besides my finger. Because my finger just goes in sideways. The tube goes sideways and up. Well, back, I guess. So here I actually went to put it in. And she played with it and I dropped it. Which is fine. Me um, wiping her nose is not me smacking her for anything. It is simply just getting the flies off. She cracks me up. I don't know why. I know exactly why horses do this, but it just it's so funny when she does it for some reason. So here I go and I get the medicine in pretty easily. So notice she's not afraid of me. She's not moving her head away or anything. I didn't force it on her. I did some preparation. She didn't need much, so I didn't do much. And I'm just loving on her telling her what a good girl she is. She does spit a couple little pieces out. That's why I put her at a little higher dosage than I think she is. I think she's about 700 pounds. And I put her, I think, at an 820. Just in case. Because they do spit some out. <laughs> it's Boog in the background. That's why he's on medicine still. See right there, she spits some out. And I'm just holding her head up a little bit since she did spit a couple pieces out. And I think she spat one more piece out after that. You can see she's getting better with her ears. And she's just like, dude, what? Why are we doing this? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed Kamani's first session of being dewormed. And I'll have a part two of her coming out very soon of what we did after this. I just thought it would be too long of a video to incorporate it. Bye, guys.